What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope everybody's doing well today. Today we're outside and we're gonna be working on the Scion XB again. I haven't worked on this thing in a while. It's kind of dirty, but we wanna install something and I'll give it a good wash today. I got some of these hood struts in from Amazon. Um, they had multiple different colors. I picked this white silver um, carbon fiber to go with the white paint. But um, came with everything here. And then this is the instructions, the installation manual. It's just two pictures of where to mount it. Um, shouldn't be too much. Shouldn't be an issue mounting. Um, all of the bolt-on parts are already there. We're just bolting it on. Right here is showing up the hood. I guess the bracket right here for the hood. That. And right here where the fender is. Let me get this sorted out. All right, so I did this off camera. But um, first, I took the first screw off the hood. Um, latch right here and I took the bracket that looks like this and I used the same bolt bolted it on adjusted this nut right here with the ball joint to come out a little bit and then down here there's a screw I used the washer that they supplied but I bolted that angle over here but let me show you how to do it on this side uh, step by step so you guys know what to do. Alright, see that bolt's off right here? I should really clean it up but I'm going to put it right here like that and adjust this, this ball screw or whatever out a little bit so you can then, um, turn it in and out to adjust for clearance but I'm going to bolt this up right now. This is how it's looking, how it's mounted. Then I come back with the strut right here and I push it in. Like that. And then down here, you're going to take this bolt off. The first bolt you see for the fender, you're going to take it off and you're going to use this bracket over here like this. With this one, I used the washer right on top. All right, I got the ball joint with the screw and the washer right here, but before um, tightening it down, I'm gonna push it into the, the shock right here. Reason being is because if I have it in place, I'm not gonna have clearance to push this in. All right, got both shocks in place right now, but we're gonna test to see if this clears the fender right here. If it does, then we're all set. If it does not, we're gonna have to pull this out and kinda adjust this um, in and out until you have clearance. Let's see this now. Yeah, there's enough clearance right there. But it's moving, so I'm gonna tighten it up. So I noticed the OEM screws, the OEM bolts, they didn't seat flush so I went back and I used the provided bolts on both sides. So you see right here, both sides, but so far I like it a lot. So here, this is what we use in the past, we no longer need it. Everything is like OEM. How you like that? If you guys are interested, I'll leave a link down in the description to have multiple colors and everything like that. But I picked this color to go with the white and I like it so far. It's like 15 minute install. pretty cool let me know in the comments down below what you guys think and I hope you guys have a great day bye